All right, hey Aquarius. So I'm doing a quick energy check-in for messages from their mind, heart, and soul for the person on your mind, you guys. So you're going to know this is your read based off the current energy that you're feeling and um, how you feel about this person. So if that does not resonate, check your moon rising or Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome, you guys. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. That's always appreciated. All right, so I'm going to check your energy first. What is happening with you? What do we got? We got the King of Swords coming through. King of Swords. You got your Three of Cups. You got Judgment card. And we got the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are kind of contemplating on the past. The past. What went wrong? What could have gone better? Um, the reason I say that is because the Page of Pentacles, it does represent kind of reflecting. Um, seeing where the procrastination was. The lack of progress. The failure to move forward. The failure to launch. Um, it's kind of, you know, inactivity. Um, like, you, this guy even came in reverse. All right, so it's almost kind of like you're being fed a string of promises that maybe never came to fruition. All right, and if nothing was ever promised, it's like this person definitely come, came through at one point in time at least, like where they weren't clear on intentions, they weren't clear on boundaries, they weren't clear on what they wanted to, where they wanted things to go with you. Maybe just kept you on a hook, you know, string you along until you couldn't take it anymore. All right. Or maybe it's not even that you couldn't take it anymore. Maybe um, coming through, you know, expressing your desires and what you want. And this person just not ever um, leveling up to where, to meet you where you needed to be. Okay. With judgment card coming through, that is a card of, um, you know, it's changing, growing, rebuilding. It's reflecting on the past and releasing those energies that you know are not going to serve a purpose moving forward. So this is all about growth, tremendous growth. And if you had some sort of animosity or anger or hurt um, or frustrations toward this person, I really feel like that's starting to be released now. All right. And I, I do feel like your focus is right there on, on union, coming together um, in harmony, right? Having fun. Like, hey, let's take it back to where it was, you know? You think about the future and you want it to be in that place where it, it has been before, where things were setting up. Um, um, positive between you and this person on your mind, right? So let's see um, what their energy is, their current energy. Yeah, they're not liking, I feel like they're not liking themselves right now, you guys. All right, we have um, the Queen of Wands did pop through. Queen of Wands is, uh, I feel like um, you're very attracted to this person, clearly. Okay, the Queen of Wands is like, it, it's the apple of your eye, right? You you have the Two of Wands, maybe Twin Flames, Soulmate Energy, but you're seeing them as very quiet, very distant, very withdrawn. Um, you know, I kind of feel like this energy as far as how you how you know this person to be or how you've seen them. Um, I'm not going to say that there was, it's more quiet. Probably questioning or wondering how, why you even have the feelings and emotions that you do with this person because of what little you may or may not know about them because of how withdrawn their their energy is, right? Um, you know, this right here is somebody who's had it hard, who's had a rough time, and that's going to be energy that they've shared with you. So um, as far, you know, when you um, think about this person, I feel like this is kind of the energy that they're staying in. Um, with you, um, very quiet, not really talkative. I'm not really going to say too much, um, especially if there is that huge disconnection there, there is that huge break. Okay. Um, as far as how you feel about them too, it could just be that you're kind of really upset that things have not kind of transpired in the way or manner that you wanted, right? You, you see this vision, you see this, um, this, uh, the, this essence of you guys, you know, potentially building and growing together and um, having this empire, but because they're so quiet, it's like, how am I supposed to tell you this when you're not even coming around so that I can tell you that, right? So let's see who this person is. Who this person is. We got Aquarius energy coming through. Sagittarius. You got your Aries um, energy with that Emperor. You got Capricorn. You got the Star card coming through. Devil, Emperor, and Star card. Okay, this person, this is like the one when it comes to you, you look at them like they are the one. Nobody else is ever going to compare, um, nor will I give them the opportunity to compete. Okay. But you also, this person's energy, man, it's a battle of soul and ego for real. All right. They, they know what they want. And I feel like it is you. Okay. I feel like they do think about you. 
I feel like they do kind of recognize that they got to get their crap together first before they can invite anybody in. But, you know, they it's not that they they can't see that future. Right now, though, I really feel like they're they're battling between ego and soul. You got the ego right here. The soul coming through is distorted masculine, dis divine masculine. All right. Um, tarot does not recognize sex, but it could be the same, um, you know, regard to a female feminine energy. Right. The, the distorted um, feminine, divine feminine. How am I going to balance this stuff out? Right. I can see through their energy. They do want better, but I feel like this person gets stuck on how am I going to get there? How am I, how am I truly supposed to get to where I want to be at? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Okay. So depending on um, how, how things were left between you guys, we got the nine of wands coming through in reverse. They could actually see that you, maybe you're hurt or you're wounded by their actions. Okay, but the Ten of Cups does say that there's a big family dynamic, there's a big picture, there's a big emotional picture they can see with you, all right? And just because everything has kind of um, gone a little bit loose right now doesn't mean that, that, that they don't still feel that soul connection, okay? Because that is a soulmate card, you guys. That is a desire. It is a longing to communicate, but how am I going to get myself out there now? Um, you know, especially if, if this person's hurt you in more ways than we can all count, right? Um, hoping that you're single, hoping that you haven't moved on. So let's just see what they want for the future of this connection. What do they want to happen with this connection? All right, look at that. You got your Ace of Cups coming through there. Oh, let's put the past behind us so that we can move forward, right? They're, they are manifesting this. We had the, the Queen of Wands pop through Aquarius, and now that King of Wands is showing up. So it is like they're trying to figure out how I, how can I manifest this person back to me? How can I, I how can I manifest my Aquarius back to me? Because that's really what I want. And I do see them at least trying, reaching out. All right. And maybe going above and beyond what you've ever seen them do for this connection. Um, have faith, have patience. All right. And never give up hope. All right. On what the universe can actually bring to you. So we're going to see the, the, what changes are taking place with this connection. The changes taking place in this connection. All right. Here's what I'm going to say. Look at that. So here's in the past. Look at that. We got self-sabotage. All right. That could be you. It could be this person. It could be that there's a, been a reflection on how maybe you could have handled this situation with this connection better. You got healthy boundaries. So yes, the healthy boundaries have been set. We're no longer going to self-sabotage ourselves because really what we want in the end of this is that, that journey, that twin flame. You guys, you already know my two of wands. Uh, it's already popped out at the, at the beginning of this. So you already know. All right. Um, and I feel like you guys are moving in the right direction, especially for those of you who have truly been able to sit on this, uh, the scale of release on that journey. You guys know that we have to learn how to release, right? So let's get some Oracle messages for you. Let's get Oracle messages for Aquarius. All right. Wow. You guys, I mean, seriously, Here's your card. Twin flames coming through again. Your passion ignites. That makes me want to cry. Tears of, of goodness for you guys, especially for those of you who have been waiting for something to change and transition in this journey. All right. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Wow. So you guys are double decorating the twin flame journey. Um, I, I just I'm so happy for you guys. Um, that is beautiful. Um, <laughs> very, very rare. And out of all these connections, I'm going to tell you this. Nobody's come through with that much twin energy. So if you've questioned what kind of journey you're on, here's your confirmation. Okay. Um, continue to do your own healing, your inner work, dark night of the soul, shadow work. Get rid of the negative energy because we're going to call this in, right? And in order to call this in, it's um, taking a tremendous inventory of the past and releasing the, the mistakes. Okay. So um, a soulmate message. I am so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. And that could be something that they are finally starting to recognize, realize, and comprehend. All right. No matter what changes life brings, nothing, nothing will change my love for you. You give my life purpose. And because of you, I feel safe. I am forever grateful. Thank you. Oh, that is so awesome, you guys. That just warmed my heart right up. So let's get some messages. Mind, heart, and soul messages. All right. Okay. 
All right, so here is what we got. Messages from the, the, the mind space. Sorry, I couldn't let you get close to me. Duh, because we got that inner healing and that purging, right? Um, in the heart space, I want to be more than friends, especially if you guys have shown them that friendship dynamic in the soul space. I wonder if you are happy without me. All right, maybe um, maybe there are some hints of, of, you know, hey, there's a little bit of soul cleanse coming through my eye, right? Of course, I'm not happy, but I am happy because I'm going to make myself, all right, learn to love life with myself. And then when I invite you in, it's going to be 20 times greater than we ever could have imagined. Initials are OJ. We got KA and UH. Aqua, I'm leaving it there, you guys. Sending you so much love. Take care.